Stakeholders in the Nigerian Tobacco Control Alliance, NTCA, have again called on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and other stakeholders in Nigeria's health sector to step up in their responsibilities and ensure the speedy implementation of the new graphic health warnings on all tobacco products in the country. Speaking at a news conference this Thursday in Abuja, the group noted that the continuous delay in enforcement could spell doom for Nigeria, which already records 28,000 deaths annually due to tobacco use. Let's now join Clevus Glora Atta for details of the event. The world over, the tobacco epidemic remains one of the biggest public health threats as it accounts for more than 8 million deaths annually. Nigeria, like many other countries, is grappling with tobacco-related diseases as 28,000 citizens die every year due to complications arising from tobacco use. In a bid to address these challenges, the federal government ratified the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control in 2005 and enacted the National Tobacco Control Act 2015, signaling its commitment to end tobacco consumption in the country. Experts say one of the proven strategies to reducing tobacco consumption and associated harms is the introduction of graphic health warnings on all tobacco products in the country. On November 23, 2021, exactly two years today, the federal government directed all tobacco companies doing business in Nigeria to replace tobacco products with colorful and appealing packs to the new ones with graphic health warnings prescribed by the Federal Ministry of Health in line with directives of the Nigerian National Tobacco Act 2015 and the National Tobacco Control Regulations 2019. The provision further states that for the effective implementation of the policy, the graphic health warnings and messages must be changed within two years to new ones, as prescribed by the Ministry of Health. However, over two years after the first phase of the implementation, stakeholders in the Nigerian Tobacco Control Alliance at a press briefing say the compliance level by tobacco companies to the directives remain abysmally low due to a lack of political will from relevant authorities in charge of its enforcement. The current standard organization of Nigeria, Federal Ministry of Health, the Nigeria Police Force, Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, Nigeria Customs Service, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, and all agencies mentioned in the Act and Regulation to make sure that graphic health warnings policy is enforced every part of the country, not only within Abuja, Lagos, Portacot. Even that woman in the rural areas that is holding snuff or tabac, that is a tobacco product. The graphic health warning should be enforced even to that because we take this um, so lightly, like the all attention is just only on cigarettes. That is what most of us know. But a lot of other tobacco products, roll your own, many of them, you don't see anything related to graphic health warning. And this is not like something that we, we civil society groups are saying, oh, okay, this is unachievable. Other countries in the sub region are doing this successfully. And I'll give you an example. We always use Senegal as an example where Senegal passed their law, I think it was 2014, 2015, 2014, um, just a few months before we did, Nigeria did in 2015. Senegal is now on their seventh round of health warnings rotation. Seven. Shouldn't we all just be ashamed? And we say, oh, Nigeria, we're the giant of Africa, we're this, we're that, but just implement what the law says. Why is that difficult? Where we are today is a retrogression from where we were last two years, two years ago. Two years ago, before the end of the moratorium period, we had seen substantial compliance. Before the end of the moratorium period. But now, the moratorium period has expired, and we are not even yet seeing up to 50% compliance. It means that where we were two years ago is a far better state than where we are today. We should be moving forward, not backwards. 
we should not be fighting the same battles that we thought we had won years ago. And we are back to the same battlefield, talking about the same issues again. It just does not look good on our image as a country. No serious country retrogresses in this manner. The group also called on relevant agencies of government to desist from talking and negotiations with tobacco companies, but rather put the health of Nigerians first by taking actions on defaulters. Gloria Atta, reporting for Clearview News. Thank you.